Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. We are back with part two with our experiment throwing Ben Hunt into Hooker. And today we're taking on a pretty strong side in the West Tigers. If you missed the last episode, we did lose a close one. Um, as for the ladder, there'll be a little picture on the screen. Currently four rounds into the competition, we are two wins and two losses. Just outside the eight at the moment, as for our opponents, the Tigers, they're coming off their first win of the season, sitting at second last just under the Cowboys, who haven't won a game yet. So the Cows, just like real life, are struggling in-game as well. Should be a doozy of a match coming up. Let's get into it. First run of the day. Where do they go? They kick down our rights, or straight down the middle pretty much. Blake Laurie finds a bit of space. Not a bad start, no bumps or nothing, but plenty of meters made. Jack the Bellin backing up. And he's taken backwards. Still, are better than most starts the matches as we lose it here in contact. Rough go, honestly. Alex 12, imagine 12 getting over. Sturz and crossed in real life. Which is quite funny, honestly. Oh, what a run! What a steamrolling run! I like the ball movement, but our boy Zach Lomax steals that. Love that from Lomax. I thought Lomax would be um, our left center, to be honest, but we, we will be doing it like real life. Numbers to the left here, Moses Sully. Nothing doing, we were running out. And he makes something out of nothing. That was a pretty decent run. Finding support as well in Albone. Tyrell Sloan feeds it to Lomax. And the catalyst to this good field position goes over. Honestly, we just dove in head first. Pretty risky. Could have easily knocked it on. But Zach Lomax manages to hold on to the pill. Let's check the bell in again. Not many meters made by our big boys, but if we have to, we will kick it. That's a nice line break. Oh, Moses oh, Sully gets his pockets picked. And how about the speed from Charlie Staines, who does step around one on route for his first. Yeah, it's Ben Hunt. If it was one of the big boys, probably could have put the hit on. We'll still go hunting though. Flat-footed. Joe Offer. Now a Parramatta Eel. There's the shot. Jack the Bellin. And we wear one too for our efforts. We get the pill. A good position here. 15 outs. Crossplay. Tyrell Sloan. Shows his speed. Let's go. It's turning into one of those 50 plus games. Sullivan. Sloan, Sloan. Throws an interception. This is Naden. Gets away from two. Three. The Bellin. Might need a spell. John Bateman. That's a try. Some drop down cheese. Not really cheesy if it's Bateman though. Two. Get him out. Get him out. Dewey, what are you thinking? Two. Hands away. He's held there. I wonder. Frankie Molo. I like this. Ooh, high tackle. We'll take that. Murdoch Masila. Getting clipped here. Back to Big Ben. Little bump, little check. 10 outs. Zach Lomax takes it himself. 
we want. Jaden Sutter. Now we slice through him. A little scrappy. We'll take that. Not as clean as I'd like. These are uh, these tries though. <laughs> or should I say these errors? How many errors now? Leading to try. Still that penalty goal. Keeping the uh, the Tigers ahead. Keeps the time though. No stressing. As we take Hunt out. Don't want to get him injured now. They kick early. Sloan. On the return. And straight through. The full race is on baby. Tyrell Sloan. Can he go all the way? No. But here comes supports. Beautiful. Max Fiangai. Actually it's Matt Fiangai. Who will reap the rewards of a Tyrell Sloan. Return. They finally turned the lights on in this place as well. I did turn the gamma up as well, just to try and combat the darkness, but... There's no escape in the darkness. This game is a bit nuts. 20 to 24. Hectic line break, Tyrell Sloan. Plenty involved. The young speedster. Little at hooker. Finds out money. What the hell was that? Tried finding Sully. Last play. Abone. Damn, that speed though. Oh, they cough it up. First play. Jack Bird of the intercept. Oh, the cross play, baby. It works on the other side of the field. Or the other side of the ruck. And it's a big boy in Jack DeBellin. He goes over untouched. Deserved another player that. How good was that? We get two tries off crossovers. This one, I think the marker was offside why there was so much space. There's still heaps of time left on the clock as we hit 50 for combined points. More tries on ways, hopefully. Full time, full time. Let's take a look at these stats. Now, the error count 17 all up, double digits for the bloody Tigers. I don't think I've seen double digits from the computer. That's what sparked up most of the tries. Speaking of tries, the crossover play was the go to for this game. That might be the go to for this team. You know how there's always like a specific play that always pulls for the Bulldogs, or was that the head up play down the short side? But it looks like the crossover is the wave for the Dragons here. Pretty exciting. I got some ways to implement that into some potentially clean tries. But for now, we're going to wrap it up there. Our boy Tyrell Sloan picks up Man of the Match. As always, if you did enjoy that, be sure to find a shit at that like button. And we'll be back with more lineup experiments until we uh, hit the origin period, I guess. For now, we're going to end it there. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later.